Hey guys. So we're sorta of in the woods but in the city and we're doing wood today. So I got wood going in my wood sheds, this stuff here, and then the stuff that's over there underneath the patio gotta go in the house. So we got our work cut out for us and I gotta rebuild uh, my fire bin. Uh, I used to be able to stack a full cord of wood in my basement and I'm gonna put in a mini split so it's gonna save me per month paying for wood because right now I'm paying about $130 a month in heat throughout the winter. Uh, the mini split will probably run me about 75 or 50 to 75 let's say 75 worst case scenario and then uh, that will the extra money that we're paying in wood will pay for the mini split. Whatever wood I don't burn in the house I'll burn in the garage and keep my garage nice and warm. My buddy Chad in here helped me out, pile some stuff up. I'm loading them up full of wood here so he can stack it up in the in my tunnel. So I better get back at her. We're just gonna throw some wood at him or try to. Might even get him in the head or something. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> hey, hey, say, I don't know what your dad's making you do, but my dad's making me work. My dad's not doing work. <laughs> All right, want another one? Yeah. Here, here's one. How come you got one glove on and one glove off? Put it in there, we'll put the other glove back on. We got all kinds to do. Hey? Then we got more over there. More over here. Oh look! There's a mini split. Can't wait until I put my other mini split in. Hey, right, grab another piece? Yeah. That one. Gonna take that one? That's a big one. Can you get it? Good yeah. job. Well, we got one pile down, another pile, and a little quarter, and then they'll hold the stuff over there. Just finishing stacking it up. We're about a quarter of the way through the woodshed, and I hear uh, I got something calling my name. <laughs> I think it's that time. I'm bigger. I'm bigger. I'm bigger. You're not as big as me. Come on. <laughs> Man, I'll come down to your level too. Come on. What are you doing down there? Yeah. Thought you were bigger. Go pile some wood. Pile some wood. I'm working on it. Are you trying to sneak up on me? Is it working? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. I've seen you coming. So how'd you see me coming? I got a camo jacket on. A camo jacket on. I got camo pants on. Okay, let's get back to work. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Hey. It's a nice heat, but it's a lot of work and a lot of mess. Yeah. yeah. Well, when the power goes out, when the power goes out, it's nice and uh, nice to still have heat inside your home. 
Definitely a good source of backup. Yeah. But all this has to go in the woodshed. And then when we need wood, we have to come out and get it. Well, keep so much in the house and then gonna come back and restock in winter. Okay, hey, watch out. So we're down to the final final little bit. So the woodshed's pretty much full. Here the quarter of a row. So we got her all filled up. Probably these two rows right here into the house and then take those three rows and put them in the garage. So this here was my wood bin. Could fit about a cord on it. I'm going to take out, I think I'm going to use this half and I'm going to take out that half and I'll just build a wall around this one and then slide everything over. Then up here I'm going to put a mini split. So I don't have to use my wood stove as much. And we're going to change it up. So here we go. Bam. Wood in the house is done. We uh, took out the pallet that was there and the pallet that was here. We slid everything over, built our rail around everything, and then piled all our wood up. So the house is done. And the wood in the garage is done. So there you guys go, that's my wood prep for 2018, for the winter season, uh, going into 2019, uh, it's a lot of work doing wood, it's a good, nice, good heat, don't get me wrong, I love wood heat, but it's, man, it's a pile of work, and uh, if you're planning on getting into it, get ready to work for it, because there's a job and a half, and even after you got everything all piled, you're going to be looking at cleaning up all the the dust and the dirt and cleaning some of the, the soot off your walls and shelves and stuff like that. Just because every time you open the wood stove up, there's a bit of soot that comes out, a bit of smoke. And then uh, you got bark falling on the floor in little pieces, so you're going to be consistently cleaning it up and moving it and uh, attending to it. Yeah, she's a she's a task and a half so so if you haven't already and you'd like to please subscribe hit the little notification button we'll see you guys next time